everybody. Hi. Welcome to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. Who happens to be the loon. <laughs> the loon. And folks, we're really excited because guess what we're making today? Lollipops. Yes, we're making lollipops. He knew that. I already told him. Now, you may be thinking, lollipops? What do you mean lollipops? Well, we're making a really good yeah, kind of lollipop. I think they know. We're... <laughs> Well, maybe not. We're doing lamb lollipops. Mmm, those oh. things are so good. I know. Now, you may be thinking, what in the world are you talking about a lamb lollipop? Really, what it is is just a little lamb chop. But yep. what I did is you go to your butcher and you get, I, you know, I like to get three racks of lamb, ask them to French them. And that just means you're, they're going to yeah. want to cut away the bone, from, the cut away the meat from the bone. You're so gonna it's like a little like lollipop. This. And then, yeah, it looks like a little lollipop. And then it's just perfectly delicious. They that cut is. them into chops for you. And um, it's about eight. Chops per rack. Yes. So, and I'm gonna start. You're gonna right start off. by liberally seasoning them with some nice kosher salt, and then we're gonna make a nice marinade. And you're gonna flip those yep. after you do that. Well, you no no no. Okay. Finish pepper. with some freshly ground pepper. We gotta do salt and pepper. These are really simple, really easy, and I mean they are such so wonderful for serving appetizers. I'll put them. It's, it's the perfect hors d'oeuvre. I mean, and they they just these are actually called scudettitos, and I'm sure I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're murdering it wrong, but. <laughs> <laughs> and in Italian, what that means, it scorches the finger. And what that means is because they're so delicious, as soon as they come off the grill or all hot off the skillet, you want to eat you them. You can't wait, and you eat them, and you scorch your fingers. So <laughs> try not to do that, but it's hard not to. Yes. Okay. This is all. We're gonna just make a really simple marinade. This is some um, Ooh, good old salted these olive like oil. Yeah, that's good. All right, all you're right. good. Some olive oil. It's a quarter cup, and then I've got two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Yum. And then we've got two tablespoons of fresh thyme. And then we've got two tablespoons of fresh rosemary. Oh, rosemary. 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 Hey, put it right here so the folks at home can see that. Okay. <laughs> that is so great. This is the good stuff. Good stuff. That looks okay. good. Now, all we're going to do is we're just going to move this stuff out of the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to put these chops that you've uh, seasoned with some salt and pepper. And we're yep. going to put them in a dish that we can then put this marinade over. Fabulous. One and, more. And uh, we'll just stick, Bring that stick up them over here. here. All right. Well, okay. there we go. All right. That's fine. And yep. then now we're just going to put this marinade over, over these the top chops. There. So Ooh, heavenly yes. delicious. Get your I fingers mean, all up in there. That's right. Like kind of rub it in. Get it all good. Over here. Juicy. Yes. I know. I Ooh, know. that know. smells good. It already smells amazing. Mm. Wait until. Okay. So, and it's not like a crazy amount of garlic. It's just that right. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's it. really good. It's really flavorful. Mm. And, and lamb is just so. You can also uh, actually do a mint as well, like mm -hmm. a little mint rub, because that's what normal, uh, not normal, but that's where it's, it's often often served with a, a mint sauce. Ma uh, lamb, yes, yes, a mint. Jam. These are an Italian flair on these lamb chops. So, all right. So now, what we would what we would do is we're going to put a foil over this, and we're going to stick it in the fridge for at least an hour just to let these aromatics and that garlic really get yes. the skin. But in the interest of time, I you did it already. I've already done that. Crazy. I know. It. I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead. I got a party to plan. So these have been marinating, and they smell so good. So now it's ready for the, the heat. And you can either, you can fire up your grill, get a nice hot grill, put yes. this with direct heat, mm -hmm. or you can do it inside and you can do it. I have my cast iron skillet going right Ooh, it's here. it's getting warm I'm too. Gonna, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Yep. What I love to do them in, if I'm not gonna do them on the grill and I'm gonna do them on the skillet like I am here, I get some pork lard and I put that oh. in the skillet just because, you know, why not? Why not? But, you know, <laughs> you could use just regular shortening, you could use olive oil, you could use butter, you could use a combination of the oh. two. Now, these don't take a long time. Now, sometimes, I've seen some people where they fl hammer them down, they mallet them down, so they're really, really thin strong. and they're kind of um, big. And That's yeah. okay, but I like more lollipop size, so they're yes. a little thicker and a yes. little meatier. Yeah, okay? Just gnaw on it. That's right. <laughs> so now, you don't want to over your, overcrowd your pan, of course, and we're, but you got a nice piping hot pan just before it starts to smoke. This is like really hot so and then um, these are literally only going to go about four to five minutes because they don't cook long and then they're ready yay so do them in batches and if you need to keep them in a slightly warm oven that's a good way yes to do that's all right that's a good tip here we go get ready for flavor town <laughs> all right So 
folks, <gasps> we now have a platter of like the most amazing appetizer past hors d'oeuvres. They're so great. It's incredible. Look how beautiful uh, that is. I want to be the one passing it because everybody would love me. Yeah, but <laughs> the only problem is, is you'll eat them all before you start passing. Speaking but, of eating. Oh, oh, okay. I know. Let's not. So how long did you grill these so again? So I literally, I only cook these for, Ooh, I mean, it depends I'm on. i this one right I here. like them. I like them a little on the pink side. Um. But I, I did them literally only about five minutes in the hot skillet, and um, I flipped them halfway through. You know, you'll see when they get nice mm. and charred, and then. Uh... Mm. Oh. To die for. Yeah. Good. Right. <laughs> when I told him I was doing land, you will be a hit. I know. When I told him I was making land lollipops, he's like, "Oh, really?" And mm. so. You mm. haven't actually tried these before. This is my mm. first time making them, mm -mm. and they were so mm. good. I mean, I mm. well, I think he likes them. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it now. That <laughs> Loon approved. <laughs> what a surprise! I got to dig in myself. Wow. Yeah. Oh, insane. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to talk with my mouth full, oh. but. You can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. Insane. Mm. Okay. Mm. When, when, you, when you get a chance, when you're not devouring these, go to our social media, like us, share us, do all of that. We love it. Oh. And these are amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are so good. Wow. Lollipop. Lo mm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>